and Summer have been close since birth. Our moms are sisters, so we grew up together. So what was the moment where she said, Jade, I want you to be my maid of honor? Oh my gosh, like since very young. Well, how old were you guys? 10, <laughs> I swear. Jade Holden has been preparing yes. for this role all of her life. Play with the boots. As the maid of honor for her best friend and cousin, Summer Khatib. How excited are you right now? So Bachelor excited. party into wedding? So excited, so, so excited. Come on girls, let's go take a shot. Summer's friends have flown here to Las Vegas for her bachelorette party. Just Summer. Just Summer. to the three-day-long event, some dipping into savings or borrowing money to foot the bill. I told my friends about this a year ago because they're in the same position as me, just graduating grad school, still in college, or like starting their careers. This is how she really wanted it. Super big, super um, party-like. You keep saying big. When I think big, I also think expensive. Oh, yes. Between travel. Hey, guys, welcome to Vegas. Accommodations and decor, the tab of some bachelorette parties can be steep. According to the wedding website, The Knot, the cost of bachelorette parties has skyrocketed over the past few years, with partygoers spending an average of $1,300, almost doubling in cost since 2019. In terms of a financial standpoint, the parties are, oh my gosh, they're so much more extravagant. Allison Odner cashed in on the high-end party trend, creating a luxury party planning company called Batch to Basic in 2016. I used to take clients who were looking to plan a weekend for roughly, you know, $300, $500 a weekend. And now we recommend at minimum spending $600 per person, but it's often between $800 to well over $3,000 per person for the weekend. On top of inflation and the post-pandemic wedding boom, for many, the social pressure to attend bachelorettes at the cost of their wallet wins out. Social media obviously plays a role, even whether it's conscious or subconscious. And then I also think people are getting married older. And so they have the means to be able to spend on these weekends to make them as extravagant as they are. Odner's team plans summer's Vegas bachelorette. Why does a bachelor party hold so much weight? Hopefully this is your first and last time getting married. So this is like a once in a lifetime thing for your friend who's getting married. Um, and being invited to be a bridesmaid or as part of a wedding is really special. Cheers. Many girls attending the bachelorette parties also have bridesmaids duties. Are those? No. Are they bridesmaid dresses? This is none of your business. For some, the plot of 2008's 27 dresses may seem far-fetched. You, you have a whole closet full. Why? What? I have a lot of friends, and I like to keep them. But for J.L. Cooper, it's pretty close to her reality. So total, it's 15, like, bridesmaids dresses that I've purchased. At 27 years old, she's attended around 35 weddings total, and she's been a bridesmaid in 15 of those. I felt like I couldn't say no to the events, but it was, it was so much back to back. Over the course of one year, JL says she's racked up $4,000 of credit card debt from all of her commitments. It's the bachelorette party, the bridal shower, the gifts for the bridal shower, the hair and the makeup and the nails for the day of and the dress, and even just getting time off work. A 2017 Wedding Wire report found being a bridesmaid can cost an average of $1,200 to $1,800. And with her own wedding falling just after her friends, JL had to get savvy to pay off her debt. JL posting this TikTok to get the word out that she was selling her dresses. The video racked up almost 300,000 views, and she said she paid off her credit cards over two years. When planning her epic Vegas trip, Summer says she made an intentional choice to try to be upfront about estimated costs with her guests before they committed. I wanted everyone to just know what they were paying for because it's a lot of money for people just getting out of college or just starting their career. Why Vegas? I wanted my party to be like hangover style. To a night we'll never forget.
Vegas is the perfect destination for any party because everything is open all the time. You can walk down the street at like five in the afternoon and get a margarita or two in the morning or 10 a.m. Oh, We're getting a limo! The girls let us tag along as they rack up the experiences and expenses from coordinated outfits. Got my boots on, my cowgirl hat. I'm ready. To dinner at the trendy sugar factory. dancing the night away. On top of that, party planning fees, the hotel, flights, and spa treatments. The final price tag for the full weekend came out to about $1,700 a person and $21,000 total. I didn't know it was going to be this expensive, but... What would you have guessed? Um, I would say around maybe 1000 so it's like doubled. This is double your expectation. Yeah, and it's all worth it. Why do it? Well, like, those are the girls that you chose that, you know, have impacted your life so far, and you want to be able to celebrate with them. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.